Your Excellency, the authentic and indomitable governor of <laughs> Adna. <laughs> the deputy governor, our dear SSG, the chief of staff, and all members of the Abia Council that are here today. Your Excellency, we have come because these are not the best of times for Nigeria and, of course, Abia State. We have come on behalf of the Senate <coughs> President and the whole Senate to commiserate with you on the loss of two very illustrious sons of Abia, that is, Senator Onyekachi Amadi Okorafor and, of course, our own Excellency Ambassador Dr. Ojo Madweke. Your Excellency, these are not the best of times, like you've said, because uh, many things are going wrong with Nigeria. The economy is in shambles. I know Abia is facing its own fair share of the problems. Infrastructure is going bad. And this is probably the time when you need wise counsel the most. And these two illustrious sons are two people who have left their footprints in the sands of time, in enterprise, in uh, academia, and of course in politics. And we believe that you must be feeling some pain. We have come to tell you we share your pain and we pray that God, in his mercies, will console the whole state and console you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, I lead the creme de la creme of the Senate, and I am probably the smallest of them, because on this entourage, we have ranking senators, like Senator Enaya Baribe, who was also the deputy governor in Abia, uh, a deputy governor in Abia State. <coughs> we have my brother, Senator Boji, who is a ranking senator, although he's just, he's not from Abia. You know, Abia people are a lot more, um, they used to be, but they are no longer. <laughs> Of course, like um, was said earlier, we have um, distinguished Senator Genmade, who used to be the national, national chairman of our party, the PDP. Yeah. And then, old Chendo worldwide, our own very old Chendo. I also have uh, the indomitable. Uh, Follow better, said it and the stormy petrol of the Senate, Senator Anyao. This is to show you how much the Senate believes in you as the governor of Abia and believes in this state and believes that those two eminent people who have gone to their rest are, have done so well in this political climate and that you deserve the best to come and commiserate with you. Once again, sir, we feel your pain. And let me also say that the Philistines you see now, you will also see no more. Amen. Amen. We are with you, the Senate is with you, we commiserate with you, we thank you for all you've been able to do for your state and for our senators. And we pray that the families of the two eminent citizens of Abia will also be consoled by God. Once again, Your Excellency, thank you very much. The Deputy Governor of Abia State, Right Honorable Day of Kachuku, SSG, and other members of uh, State Executive Council, please join me to welcome this very powerful delegation of uh, most distinguished senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, led by our 
Army of Amazon of the Senate, Senate of Biodun Olujimi. On behalf of people and government of Abia State, I am very, very pleased to have you here. I would have preferred you come, you had come on a different, uh, for a different reason and a different platform, but that is the way of all mortals. And uh, as you have eloquently expressed, the two gentlemen that has gone to the great beyond have uh, played a very wonderful role, not only within the uh, geographical space of Abia State, but Nigeria and the world over. Um, if we begin to recount the contributions of these gentlemen, uh, we will need a whole day to do that. Uh, it's a personal loss to me because, um, uh, like you said, this is the time we require them and need them most in Abia. Um, and in my place here, we believe that um, elders should be preserved to teach the younger ones, upcoming ones, the way forward. Uh, Senator Ojomadekwe in particular struck me from the first day I, I met him as somebody who was determined to assist me all through. And um, for me, it's a, it's a personal loss and uh, we, we did not see it coming because um, I still remember the last time I had a chat with him, he was still very ebullient and robust, uh, good and ready to go with uh, effervescent energy, but um, that is beyond all that. Therefore, even as you have come to commiserate with us, we also say that uh, to Nigeria and to the Senate in particular, we have lost a great family member or family members, and uh, we pray that God Almighty will give us the fortitude to bear this loss. Um, for Abia State, as a polity, we would have, uh, if we had opportunity to appeal to God, we would have asked him to keep both of them a little longer, especially now that um, Abia is once again in the front burner. Um, what Abia is going through today, we are passing through it on behalf of Nigeria because uh, what is being attacked is the very pillar and foundation of our democracy. I am sure that we have over 900 uh, high courts scattered across Nigeria. And if a high court can remove a sitting governor, he, that high court can also remove a president. And it tells a story about the political stability of our country. It, it will impact on how people look at us and how investors look at us and how the rest of the world perceive us. Nobody wants to touch a country that is uh, atomistic and in turmoil and unstable. And, um, but I'm sure that for the sake of our children, for the sake of our future, for the sake of the gains we have made in democracy, we will come out of it uh, stronger. Um, on this note, I want to thank you for coming and then, um, also ask you to take our uh, message to your family in the Senate that you met us well and um, we, are, we are bearing it with fortitude and we are praying that God Almighty will give the immediate family, the Senate and Nigeria and Abia State, the grace to trudge on. On this note, once again, thank you for finding time to come and I pray that um, despite the fact that this is a, a very sober moment for all of us, please try to enjoy yourself while you are within Abia. Thank you very much. Thank you.